All right, so this morning I'm gonna install a backup camera on my 19 QTH toy hauler. I'm gonna be installing the V25 Donist. Here's the camera, mounting bracket, electrical connection for 12 volt DC. Here's the two wires that you connect to the LED lights in the back, which I'll show you where those go in just a minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this as a cap. I'm gonna put this on the end of the power supply when I'm not using it, the trailer, to keep water, dirt, mud out of the power supply that the camera connects to. Again, this is the QTH, the 24 foot travel trailer, but this is gonna apply generally to uh, different versions. You can see the pre-wiring, so when you talk to the dealer, they're gonna say that this trailer is pre-wired for a backup camera. What that means is you have access to 12 volts on the back. You also have access at the license plate, but I don't want my camera down low. I don't know that that's the best place or that anyone would put it there anyways. Here are the tools you'll need for the job. Something to seal up the external penetration, the caulk gun, of course. The drill bit I used <laughs> was an 1160 force. It looks like it's ran away. Oh, there it is by the air conditioning unit. Non-mooring, auto trim, panel tools. Small screwdriver. I just use this to push the wires into the hole. A little electrical tape and the needle nose pliers to grab out of the wires in the hole. To get these LED lights out, what you do is you take your non marring tool, gently get uh, behind here, and then you just pry them out and they come out lickety split. This one actually broke. I've just used these out doing projects on the trailer, but this is how you get under the LED light, you get another non-marring tool, and they, you can see, they just pry right out. You can push it right back in too. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wire this into the trailer. I'm gonna push all this extra wire back in and then my camera will plug in here. You can see, you know those zip ties that you never use? I actually use the electrical tape, taped it to the black and red wire, and then stuck the crappy little zip tie through the 1160 force hole till it was revealed, and then I grabbed it with the needle nose pliers and pulled the wire out. That's how I fished the wire through the hole and out this hole. It's pretty happy to use uh, those these little crappy zip ties that are never good for anything for something useful.